and we should include you know the way the modern society you know looks its you know views we should try to also you know project our you know ideas our you know main essential points through that to the society then that will be much more appreciated and more people will come and they join and if in fact you see quantum mechanics is going towards that direction if you see previously people were thinking that there is something fixed objects but now we don't see anything you know that type of in you know, a concept what we are studying in physics is the knowledge of the object not the object itself so in basic studies we study what the knower knowing process and what is known but what in modern science we focus only is what is known we ignore how we know what are different processes of knowing but the epistemology we have ignored and the subject itself has been ignored but in basic studies these all things are included and if we can develop a platform where these things can be included and understood philosophically scientifically and theologically then that will you know bring much more in appreciation and forefront you know we have a great tradition great culture and india is is the place when every whole world is looking because western science we uh, reached a point where it cannot progress further they are only talking about consciousness 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 all the field but what india is talking about not only consciousness but the object of consciousness consciousness cannot be studied by mere consciousness alone we have to know what it consists of so according to that it is being classified whether it is exploratory whether it is renouncing renouncing consciousness or dedicating consciousness so objects has to be studied and these things are studied by our sages and if you can look into that that will be very nice and uh, i appreciate you know the contribution of you all in you know, here and i am really most grateful to among all of you and i feel very much you know fortunate that you are so sincere and you are trying very hard and bringing all this you know people together to discuss these topics so we are looking forward for you know future collaborations also we are you know doing lot of activities you also want you all to participate in that and we can have you know more activities in this and this is what is inha prabhu came 500 years back and one thing he told which is very significant for this conference because most of the people belongs from bharat bhumi and what he told bharat bhumi to hoilo manushya janma jar janma sartho kari kara parapaka who have taken birth on this land of bharat they must make their life success and then help others to make their life success so until we practice you know what is this vedic system see there are three things that are described in vedic system gyan vigyan and pragyan gyan means theoretical knowledge vigyan means practical knowledge and pragyan means the knowledge mixed with love that means the great devotees they have different level of knowledge so vigyan is all about practical knowledge so if you want to include this whole society it must come through vigyan itself so this this must be practical we have to give them a process how they will practice the vedic wisdom that's what is gita is teaching whether we are fighting whether we are practicing science whether we are doing you know some philosophy how you can channelize it in the vedic wisdom way that's what we have to give that's what you know i was thinking this should be discussed more thank you very much